Hello, Lee. Thank you for joining us today. It's good to see you again. Um, how are you? I'm very well, thanks, Nick, and good to see you again, too. How are you doing? Oh, good, thank you. Hello, and welcome to our video blog. Lynn, today um, I was hoping to ask um, about the practice that you're working from called EFT Australia. Now, EFT stands um, for Emotionally Focused Therapy, and some of our viewers at home want to know what's, why is the focus on emotion? Well, the focus is on emotion in emotionally focused therapy because uh, we believe that a lot of the difficulties we go through, a lot of the problems that we come across, are emotionally based. You know, mm -hmm. the, rather than um, there's different therapies out there that come at the processes from different angles, you know, from mm -hmm. the cognitive beliefs or behavioural stuff like that. But we believe uh, it's a humanistic type basis that we believe that things come from an emotional basis. When you say we believe, is there research to substantiate this? Sure, there's plenty of research to back this up. Mm -hmm. um, there's been 20 or 25 years worth of research into emotionally focused therapy, which is showing that it is at a very efficient or has a high efficacy, if you like, um, mm -hmm. working with problems, and that can be depression, anxiety, um, those sort of things, as well as a couple of relationships. A couple of relationships. Um, and, and how does that translate? I mean, what, what's, what are some of the processes that um, someone who is struggling with their emotions might expect to go through? Sure, and an example that we do uh, is I do a group workshop for couples mm -hmm. um, that are having, might be having difficulties in the relationships or just want to enhance their relationships. Mm -hmm. um, it's a more an educational process, but it's based on, on Sue Johnson's book, uh, Hold Me Tight, mm -hmm. uh, which I have on my, mentioned on my website. Um, and the idea is that couples quite often get into cycles of behaviour with each other, you know, and we respond, uh, we tend to respond from a secondary emotion that we, we get angry or agitated, and once we get into these cycles, we can be, have our antenna up there looking for behaviour that reinforces what our belief is, and we mm. can respond very quickly with mm. our partner when um, we're trying to protect ourselves, you know. So when you say cycles, it almost sounds like it's not um, w one partner or the other partner that's responsible for, for the fight, more so the process. Absolutely, and, and I stress that with couples. There's, neither of the, the, of the individuals in the relationship are wrong, uh, they're neither of them are bad. Mm -hmm. you know, they are purely responding to a stimulus from a way that's been adaptive to them in the past. So they, that whether as, as they're growing up as a child or as, mm -hmm. a, as, as a teenager mm -hmm. or as a young adult, they've responded to some stimuli in a way that's kept them safe, it's kept them protected. Mm -hmm. And they're still behaving that way. So now in a couple of relationships, it, the behaviour may have become maladaptive. You know, mm -hmm. As a child, we've got a different relationship with our parents because we're powerless virtually, you know, and we have to respond in some way mm -hmm. that keeps us safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now as an adult-adult relationship, we need to maybe look at that, that response. Okay, I see. So you're helping couples develop a process that is more helpful? More, more adaptive to adult-adult relationships. I mean, we're, we, in the relationship that I'm talking about, we're, when we get into a cycle, both partners are saying, I'm really scared about losing my partner here. I'm really scared about you know, upsetting them or I'm really upset that you know, I'm really scared that we might lose this relationship. And that's the, the big fear that's below it all, you know. And this, but, uh, and, you know, for instance, if one partner snaps at you when you walk in the door, then rather than snap back at them and say, oh, I don't want to get into the fight, I don't want to upset them, I'll withdraw and I'll, and I'll go to my room and play on the computer or something like that. Mm -hmm. The other partner's feeling left out and, and abandoned then because they really want to make connect with you. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So we get it, that can, that's one of the cycles, we call that a pursue withdraw cycle. I see, I see. So that's, that's an example. So uh, in terms of... Um success rates of um, those kind of processes uh, and sure. those workshops. Could you talk a bit about that? Absolutely. Um, Sue Johnson has done a lot of research with the universities in Canada and America. Um, as you know, the universities carry out a lot of research and we've yeah. done research through hospitals where people have been stressed because of a, a child is um, has a disability or something like that, which is very, very stressful on a relationship. Mm -hmm. And they work with emotionally focused therapy with that couple, mm -hmm. and they have a success rate of 85% of couples are, are able to mend their relationship and, and have a good, strong, healthy relationship after that. Not only that, it carries on. They've gone back to test those couples three years later and found that the, the relationship has improved. So those aren't short-lived effects. In no. fact, the improvement continues. Absolutely, because they've learned a new skill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So this is uh, Dr. Sue Johnson's research. Absolutely, yes. And a lot of her students and, that are going through university now. She mentors and supervises a lot of students who, mm -hmm. who do research under her control. You know. so, so there's a lot of research to back up the processes. The whole me type root workshop is, mm -hmm. is purely educational. We're looking at the different cycles. And the, as I said, it's not a group um, therapy process. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an educational process. But we do get the couples to talk to each other, but not they don't have to share with the group sort of thing. Like I see. Therapy. I see. So it's a bit safer in that way. Very much so. Yeah. I see. Um, Lina, thank you so much for this. I, I um, think this clarifies to us a lot why emotion is so important in psychotherapy, specifically in the therapeutic approach that you adopt. And um, um, if um, you do have any questions, write to us. This is um, Lynn Thompson. And Nick Kotlorov, talking to you again from our video blog. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.